Marvel NX-6 Regulations for prevention of air pollution from ships Emission control area Means an area where the adoption of special mandatory measures for emissions from ships is required to prevent, reduce, and control air pollution from NOx or SOx and particulars matter. NOx Technical Code means the technical code on control of emission of nitrogen oxides from marine diesel engines. NOx Code 2008. Examples of ozone depleting substances. Palin 1211, Palin 1301, Palin 2402, CFC 11, CFC 12, CFC 113, CFC 114, CFC 115. Regulations of this NX shall not apply to any emission necessary for the purpose of securing the safety of ship or saving life at sea, any emission resulting from damage to a ship or its equipment. Incineration of waste means the incineration of waste or other matter on board a ship if such waste or other matter were generated during the normal operation of that ship. Existing ship means a ship which is not a new ship. New ship means a ship. 1. For which the building contract is placed on or after January 1, 2013. 2. The keel of which is laid or which is at similar stage of construction on or after July 1, 2013. 3. The delivery of which is on or after July 1, 2015. Survey and certification. Every ship of 400 GD and above, and every fixed and floating drilling rig and other platforms shall be subject to surveys as follow. An initial survey, a renewal survey, an intermediate survey, an annual survey, an additional survey. Note, any ship of 400 GD and above shall be issued an International Air Pollution Prevention Certificate. Note, an International Energy Efficiency Certificate for ships of 400 GD and above shall be issued after a survey has been carried out. The International Energy Efficiency Certificate shall be valid throughout the life of the ship. Port State Control on Operational Requirements A ship which is in port or an offshore terminal under the jurisdiction of another party is subject to inspection by officers duly authorized by such party concerning operational requirements under this annex, where there are clear grounds for believing that the master or crew are not familiar with essential ship board procedures relating to the prevention of air pollution from ships, Ozone depleting substances. Installations that contain ozone depleting substances other than HCFC shall be prohibited on ships constructed on or after May 19, 2005, or in the case of ships constructed before May 19, 2005, if the contractual delivery or actual delivery of equipment is after May 19, 2005. Installation that contains HCFC shall be prohibited on ships constructed on or after January 1, 2020, or in the case of ships constructed before January 1, 2020, if either the contractual delivery or actual delivery is after January 1, 2020. In OX, this regulation shall apply to 1. Each marine diesel engine installed with a power output of more than 130 kW and 2. Each marine diesel engine with a power output of more than 130 kW that undergone major conversion on or after January 1, 2000, but does not apply to engines for emergencies only. NOx levels Tie Rod Tire 2 Tire 3 Emission Control Area for NOx 1. The North American Area 2. The United States Caribbean Sea Area Note, a marine diesel engine with a power output of more than 5,000 kW and a per-cylinder displacement at or above 90 elant, installed on ships constructed on or after 1 Jewel in 1990, but prior to January 1, 2000 shall comply with the regulations. The total weighted emission of NOx, 17.0 g slash kWh, when N is less than 13 rpm, 45 x and power 0.2 g slash kWh, when N is 130 or more but less than 2000 rpm, 9.8 g slash kWh, when N is 2000 rpm or more, and equal rated engine speed, crankshaft rev, permit. Sulfur content except ECA area shall not exceed the following limits. 4.50% TEM slash M prior to January 1, 2012, 3.50% TEM slash M on and after January 1, 2012, 0.50% TEM slash M on and after January 1, 2020. Note, the worldwide average sulfur content of residual fuel oil supplied for use on board ships shall be monitored to adjust the figures. ECA area, the Baltic Sea area, and the North Sea area, the North American Sea area, the United States Caribbean Sea area. Sulfur content in ECA area, 
1. 5% TEM slash M prior to July 1st, 2010. 2. 1.00% TEM slash M on and after July 1st, 2010. 3. 0.10% TEM slash M on and after January 1st, 2015. Note, those ships using separate fuel aisles to comply with the regulations and entering and leaving an emission control area shall carry a return procedure showing how the fuel oil changeover is to be done, allowing sufficient time for the fuel oil service system to be fully flushed of all fuel aisles exceeding the applicable sulfur content specified in this regulation prior to entry into an emission control area. The document shall contain 1. The volume of low sulfur fuel oils in each tank. 2. The date and time and position of the ship when any fuel aisle changeover takes place. A review of the standards set forth in this regulation shall be completed by 2018 to determine the global market supply and demand for fuel oil to comply with this regular that exists at the time that the review is conducted. An analysis of the trends in fuel oil markets. Any other relevant issues? Follow organic compounds box, a tanker carrying crude oil shall have on board and implement a VOC management plan approved by the administration. The plan shall include written procedure for minimizing VOC emission from loading slash discharging and sea passage, give consideration to the additional VOC generated by cow, identify a person responsible for implementing the plan for ships on international voyages, be written in the working language of the master and officers must be translated into English. This regulation shall also apply to gas carries only if the types of loading and containment systems allow safe retention of non-methane VOC on board or their safe return ashore. Shipboard incineration of the following shall be avoided. Residue of cargoes subject to an XI, 2 or 3 or related contaminated packing materials, PCBs, garbage, containing more than traces of heavy metals, refined petroleum products containing halogen compounds, sewage sludge, and sludge oil, either of which is not generated on board the ship, exhaust gas cleaning system residues, reception facilities, needs of ships using its repair ports for reception of ozone depleting substances and equipments, needs of ships using its ports, terminal or repair ports for the reception of exhaust gas cleaning residues without causing undue delay to ships, needs in ship breaking facilities for the reception of ozone depleting substances and equipments, fuel oil availability. All parties shall take all reasonable steps to promote the availability of fuel oils that comply with this annex. If the ship not complying shall present a record of the actions taken to attempt to achieve compliance and provide evidence that it attempted to purchase compliant fuel oil in accordance with its planned voyage. The ship should not be required to deviate from its intended voyage or to delay unduly. A ship shall notify its administration and the competent authority of the relevant port of destination when it cannot purchase compliant FO. A party shall notify the organization when a ship has presented evidence of the non-availability of compliant FO. Fuel oil quality. The FO shall be blends of hydrocarbons derived from petroleum refining. The FO shall be free from inorganic acid. The FO shall not include any added substances or chemical wastes that jeopardize the safety of ship or adversely affects the performance of the machinery, is harmful to personnel, contribute overall to additional air pollution. No. Bunker delivery note shall be kept on board for three years. A party may inspect the bunker delivery note, make copy, and may ask to certify the copy. The bunker delivery note shall be accompanied by a sample of the FO delivered and to be kept on board for at least 12 months. Responsibility of every party to maintain a register of local suppliers, to request bunker suppliers to issue delivery notes and provide samples, to request bunker suppliers to retain the copy of delivery notes for three years, take action against FO suppliers for non-compliance, inform administration of ships receiving non-compliant FO of non-compliant suppliers, inform the organization of the FO suppliers who have failed to comply with the regulations, Attain Energy Efficiency Design Index, Attain ED. Each new ships, each new ships undergone a major conversions. Each new or existing ship which has gone under major conversion so that the administration considers it as a new ship. Energy efficiency for ships. Apply to all ships of 400 GD and above, where building contract is on or after January 1, 2017, or the keel laid on or after January 1, 2017, or the delivery of which is after July 1, 2019. Each ship shall keep on board a ship-specific ship energy efficiency management plan, SEAM. This may form a part of ship safety management plan, SMS.